Hi there, let's go through this question from the 2017 PSLE math paper. And this question is not testing on volume, right? even though we have a keyboard over here. In fact, this question is just testing your concept of area as well as your visualization skill. Okay, so let me share with you how to visualize this type of question. Okay, so uh, Ravi had a rectangular block of wood that is a 10 cm by 5 cm by 4 cm. He painted all the faces of the block. Okay, and for part A, we want to find a total painted area. Alright, so after you paint all the faces of the block, you basically just need to find the surface area of the whole cuboid. Okay, so the whole surface area will consist of the top and the bottom surface area first. Right, which is uh, 2 times 10 times 5. Okay, you get 100 cm square. Then after that, you got to find the left and the right. Okay, the left is 5 times 4. So the left and right will be 2 times 5 times 4. You get 40 cm square. And lastly, you got to find the front and the back. Okay, the front and the back will be 2 times 10 times 4. You get 80 cm square. Right, you just need to plus them all together and you will get a final answer of 220 cm squared. Okay, so that will be the total painted surface area. Right, this should be quite straightforward to you. And now for part B, this is a tricky one. Okay, Ravi is now going to cut the block into 1 cm cubes. And for part 1, we want to find how many of these cubes have none of the faces painted. Alright, so can you tell me which cubes will have none of the faces painted? The answer is all the cubes they are inside the block which are not in contact with the outside surface area. Can you, can you visualize this? Right, because we will paint the outside, right, the inside are not painted, right? So as long as the cubes are not in contact with the outside surface area, those cubes will have none of the faces painted. Alright, so to help you to visualize, alright, we got to cut away the front and the back first. Alright, because the front and the back definitely have faces painted. Okay, so after you cut away the front and the back, you are left with 10 by 3 by 4. And why is that so? Because when you take 5 cm, minus 1 cm from the front, and 1 cm from the back, you get 3 cm. And after that, you need to cut the left and right. All right, so after cutting the left and right, you'll be left with 8 by 3 by 4. Okay, because 10 cm, minus 1 and minus 1, you get 8 cm. Okay, and now lastly, you got to cut the top and the bottom, right? Because the top and bottom also have a red surface area. So after cutting the top and bottom, you end up with 8 by 3 by 2. Okay, so this will be the leftover which has none of the faces painted. Okay, and because you are going to cut all these, uh, this whole cube board into 1 cm cubes, the total number of cubes will be 8 times 3 times 2, and the answer is 48 cubes. Okay, now for part 2. We want to find a number of cubes that have two of the faces painted. Ah, okay, so now can you tell me which cubes have two of the faces painted? Alright, to answer the question, let's look at the length first. Right, when you look at the lengths, the number of cubes with two painted surfaces, alright, will be here, here, and of course the back also have, which is here and the back also have another row over there. Alright, so these cubes have two faces painted. Alright, you don't count this one because this cube actually has three faces painted. Okay, while of course uh, all these only has uh, one face painted. Okay, so the number of cubes with two painted surfaces along the length will be 4 times 8. Right, because in one row over here we have 8 cubes. So 4 rows will be 32 cubes. And now look at the breadth. Right, the breadth will be here, 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 and here. So it will be 4 sets of 3, right, because each row has 3 cubes. You have 12. Okay, so after you consider the length and the breadth, let's now look at the height. Right, so for the height, the 2 cubes, the cubes with the 2 painted surfaces will be here, 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 and behind. Alright, so you'll be 4 sets of 2, which is 4 times 2, you get 8. Alright, so to find the total cubes with 2 faces painted, we just got to add up together everything, 
and you get a final answer of 52.